this is a complex one and I don't want to oversimplify it. I think it's important to start by critiquing this narrative that economic growth is always a good thing. Whereas I think it's a, a stable economy is probably a good thing. It's connected to the fact that we didn't diversify our economy sufficiently. So we put all our eggs in one basket. We failed to invest in research and design. We failed to invest sufficiently in, in education. Rising unemployment is really a symptom of a broader problem in our economic system. That, and we need to talk about going back to the fundamentals and saying, okay, well, what is the point of an economy? Economy is a means of exchange where we allow, with the, with the end goal being to, to increase social welfare. It, it, making money isn't an end in itself. And a government that, that gets caught up talking about the economy to the exclusion of social issues is, is doomed to fail in the long term. Well, one of the big ones that I'm really concerned about at the moment is the cost of public transport. And it almost feels like an elementary one. I, th I think it's like only 10% of Brisbaneites use public transport. It's pretty low. And, and some people use this excuse of saying that, oh, Brisbane's a, a low dense city, so, so public transport's just always gonna be inefficient. That's nonsense. The, the inner suburbs, even right out to zone three, have sufficient density that you could have a, a fairly cheap and efficient public transport system. The other big issue that I'm really concerned about is donations and the way that donations to political parties can influence the political process. We've seen down in New South Wales that donations from business and big business and developers are corrupting the political process. I'm really keen to press Labor on this issue because they still take donations from, from large companies and they still take donations from property developers. And I'd really like to see the Labor Party say, well, actually, no, we're going to ban donations from political developers, which is what they did down in New South Wales. Like, this isn't radical thinking. This has already happened in other states in Australia. I've just been wanting to speak to what I would call the radical left, for want of a better term, and to encourage people out there to start thinking strategically and tactically about what it is you're trying to achieve. Adjusting your methods doesn't necessarily mean compromising on your principles and and fundamental values it, like it's a question do you do you or do we want to continue just being this minority on the sidelines just shouting at everyone or do we, we do we want to bring people with us and if we want to bring people with us maybe it's time to start thinking more innovatively about how we do that we've got people on the ground in every suburb going door to door saying, what issues are you concerned about? Let's talk political philosophy. Let's talk about what you care about. If I had more time for this election campaign, I'd do more door knocking, but also more community discussion groups and meet the candidate forums and those sorts of things where people are given an opportunity to engage with politics at a more meaningful level. We need to encourage people to, to think critically about these issues and to, to recognize that politics directly affects every aspect of their lives. So. So they need to take an interest or, or they're taking themselves out of the conversation and then they're dooming themselves to a position of less power. Last night we had a movie night, which was great. We showed Charlie's Country, which is mm. about, I guess, Arnhem Land and the intervention and a whole bunch of issues up in the NT. And afterwards we had a discussion group. So the movie kind of acted as a pathway for people who don't normally talk about those issues. They watch the movie, they start thinking about them. And afterwards we just had this free flowing discussion where we touched on all sorts of issues and there was a lot of knowledge sharing and that was really cool. And I want to see more of that sort of stuff. Yeah, that's kind of where the campaign's at at the moment. If we had more time, we'd just talk to more people. And that's how politics should be, I think.